What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to work on the Hit Me button for our blackjack game with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to work on the Hit Me button, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, we're gonna work on the hit me button in this video. So you see, I've hit it a couple of times. We've got a four and eight and a nine that adds up to 21 and we win. If we shuffle again, hit me, uh oh, player loses 23. So that's what we're gonna work on in this video. Head back over to a code. I'm using the sublime text editor in the Git bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so I've got the code from our last video. I've renamed it blackjack underscore four, or used to be blackjack underscore three. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the shuffle function, and we need to sort of keep track of the score. Now we sort of already keep track of the score, we keep track of what cards we've been dealt, we convert those into numbers and all that stuff, but I just want a very basic counter just to keep a running total. So we're just gonna uh, keep track of score totals, let's say, and I'm gonna create a couple variables. I'm gonna call one player underscore total, and I wanna set it to zero right away. And let's go self dot dealer underscore total and set that equal to zero. So every time we shuffle, this will get reset back to zero. So let me copy this. Now we wanna come up here to where we check for blackjack. And every time we run this function, I wanna do the same thing. I wanna reset the total because every time we get a new card dealt, we're gonna to wanna to recount, right? So, okay. So here, this is where we calculate the player stuff. And we're just gonna work on the player function in this video. So we're gonna you know, hit ourselves. We're not gonna work on hitting the dealer until the next video or a couple of videos from now. So we come down here to the player section and remember we call this function by passing in player so we know who we're dealing with. So a couple of videos ago, we set this up to check whether or not you get blackjack right off the bat when you get two cards. So if the player score equals two, if there are two cards being dealt, then we're gonna check for blackjack. Then we can come down here and we can go else. If it's not two cards, that means there's at least, you know, three cards or whatever. So then we want to loop through player score list and add up cards, right? So let's go for score in self dot player underscore score. Let's add up the score. So let's go self dot player underscore total plus equals score, right? So we start out at zero and we're gonna loop through the list of cards or whatever and then just add those to that total, right? So now we need to check for win or lose. So let's go if self dot player underscore total equals 21, hey, we've won, right? So let's set the self dot blackjack status for our player to uh, yes. Right? L if self dot player underscore total is greater than 21, well then, you know, obviously we busted. So I'm gonna grab this here and let's set this to bust, which is new. In the last video, we set it up to yes or no. So we're introducing a new thing, bust. So we need to come down here in a minute and test for bust, right? So, okay, that should do it. If the total is less than 21, we don't really care. We're either gonna hit or stand. If it's 21 exactly, then hey, we've won and we'll stop. If it's over, we're gonna bust and we lose. Okay, so here is where we check for blackjack. And this is no longer blackjack, I guess it's 21. Blackjack is probably technically right when you're first dealt the two cards. But anyway, a 21 score is winning. So we can come down here. And remember, this is if there's two cards dealt, right? Do all of this stuff. Well, let's just come down here and do an else statement. Again, make sure these line up. There we go, they do. And then otherwise, right? If there's more than two cards, we still wanna do all of this stuff, right? So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it in here. And let's change some of these messages to instead of blackjack, let's just say 21, same thing here, 21 player wins. So, okay, so here we're checking to see if there's a tie, yeah, there's a tie. Here we're checking to see if the dealer wins. We haven't messed with that yet, we'll do that later. And then here we're checking to see if the player wins. Okay, so, so far so good. Finally, we just need to account for busting. 
So here we could just come down here and let's just check for bust or check for player bust at least for now. And we want to make sure that these line up as well. So here, let's just do an if statement and let me grab this thing up here where we set the thing to bust, right? So let's come down here and say if that, and that needs to be two equal two signs because we're comparing, not assigning. So if that's the case, then let's do a little message here. And let's say bust message. And here, let's just put this at bust. And let me make this into an F string. And let's say player loses. And in here, let's just pass self dot player underscore total. So it'll at least output in the message what our score is. So it's like if you got a 26, it'll put a 26 in there. And it'll say player loses 26, right? Whatever. And again, we probably want to turn off the buttons. So I'll add that in there as well. Okay. So that should do it. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. Head over to our terminal. I'm on my C PyQ5 directory. Got my virtual environment turned on. And let's run Python blackjack underscore four dot pi. Okay, so let's go four, two, that's six, 16 plus nine is 25. Player loses 25. Okay, seems to work. So nine, 10, 11, hit me. Up, oh, player loses. Now you'll notice the ace is counted as 11 here. And normally if you're towards the end there and you're gonna bust with 11, it'll convert that ace to a one. So we'll still need to do that probably in the next video, uh, but for now it's fine. 7, 7, 14, hit me, 23. Let's see if we can get a winner here. 6, 10, up, oh, 22, so close. Nope, oh, 16, 26. <laughs> Man, we are bad at this game. 19, oh, there we go, 19 and two, 21 player wins. Okay, and it works. So pretty simple, not a whole lot to this, just a lot of code we've already worked on in the past, tweaked a little bit, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeview.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeview.com, and I'll see you in the next video.